Uh, what's up everybody Afro Joe here and uh, I wanted to do this video because I'm tired I'm like I'm starting to get sick of the fucking entertainment industry I'm already sick of it but uh, but this shit here is ridiculous like uh, Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey fighting on American Idol now I'm gonna tell you this man what what Nicki Minaj said was so fucked up. So, now they, now everybody knows that Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj did do a video together once before, and and uh, and they had a little spat on American Idol, but I didn't know that this spat would go get to a point where. Nicki Minaj saying, "If I had a gun, I shoot that bitch. That sh I will shoot that motherfucking bitch." Now, if it's gotten to a point where Nicki Minaj is saying shit like that, and a bunch of people's around, that's fucked up. Because one thing is, you threaten to kill this woman. She got two young kids at home. She got two little one-year-olds at home, dude. Why would you want to say shit like that? Now you're going to have people trying to kill Mariah Carey because the shit you say. You can sit there, oh, I didn't say that, but there's a lot of people saying that you say that. I know, I know people's going to be like, well, that's hearsay. Well, if it's coming from five different damn people, I don't think it's hearsay. I can understand one or two. I can understand one. That's hearsay. But it's more than one. It's not hearsay. It's the truth. But... I was, and this fight happened over something so pathetic. I don't know what they fighting over, but it probably been over something so stupid as hell. The second thing, I'm gonna say this, Nicki Minaj, you a pretty young woman, but you ain't no damn gangster. Ain't no damn gangsters gonna be wearing pink cotton candy hair. I be calling himself a Barbie. What gangster do you know? Just gonna call himself a Barbie and change and be wearing wigs out the ass. There's female gangsters looking at you. She ain't no gangster. She ain't no gangster. Bitch, you ain't. You just another Korean Stephens. The super head. Just another Korean Stephens because everybody remember before you even came out, you was sucking. Little Wayne's dick and you was giving up that pussy for two years with Little Wayne. Two years with Little Wayne. And then you come out on the spot and been out for two years and you already a successful hit. Awfully funny. You ain't nothing but Little Wayne's bitch. You ain't gay. And one thing is she says she's gay, but you fucking Little Wayne, so how does that make you gay? Don't sit there. Cause I know Mariah had her little issues in the past, but she's been in the industries so long that she knows the ins and out of it. You don't. Just because you've been out for three or four, a little bit, three years or four years or something like that, you think you know the industry. Mariah's been around the corner and back. She's been through hell and back. Now she's got a family. You want to talk all that shit? All that shit? I'm a gangster. Bitch, please, sit your bitch ass down somewhere. One thing is, everybody saw that damn video on TMZ saying that you a gangster, for real? You was just Little Wayne's hoe. That's all that is to it. You ain't no motherfucking gangster. That, that gangster music died off in the 90s. <coughs> That gangster music ain't coming back in the 2012. Because it ran its course through the 80s and 90s. See what I'm saying? I know people going to be saying, What about Mariah Carey? She had a nervous breakdown. Yeah, she had a nervous breakdown. If you've been in the industry so long, you would have one too. Mariah did her little shit in the damn spotlight. And everybody looked beyond that and they still still love Mariah. I love Mariah. She fine as a motherfucker. And her 40's still looking good. 
still looking good. And Mariah busted her ass to get that title, Diva. And Nikki, you just sucked dick and gave up the ass. You ain't no fucking diva. You just a you just a bitch. You say you real, but you got fake chichis and a fake ass, and you wear them fake ass wigs. You got more wigs than Dolly Parton. Now I see why you call yourself a Barbie, cause you a fake ass. Cause I can tell you now, all that you. you all you doing is start starting trouble with certain people. You pissing off the wrong people just to get a fight going. You you do that just to get a lot of people to fight with you on they on your album. And then when shit ain't that's all it is. That's all it is. Mick Nicki Minaj is nothing but starting a whole bunch of shit just so she can have a gimmick. Your gimmick is your music. Your gimmick shouldn't be <coughs> talking that shit why would you want to do that why would you want to sit there and do nothing but videos talking shit about somebody that shit is played out man I'm sick and tired of uh, singers and all this and that doing videos or song, certain songs talking shit about uh, oh fuck this person fuck this person and you stealing you copycatting the reason why I say that is because you stealing Lady Gaga shit. You stole the scene out of Aaliyah's uh, uh, video. When, when Aaliyah did that, what was it? Uh, what was it? Uh, it was a song she did. It was a song she did and she had a snake around her. And that's all it is. Like, I'm tired of sitting up here watching this girl steal everybody's looks. She's a fake, man. I'm telling y'all. I'm sorry. Like, one thing is, I'm going to tell y'all this. If Nicki Minaj did say, say that shit, I'm going to say it like this. Uh, we need a revolution. That's the song. We need a revolution. That's the song that Leah song, but but I, I just don't get this, man. All this, then all that shit, all that shit that happened in the nineties. What's in the nineties, man? Don't be trying to bring that shit from the nineties back up to today. Well, I mean, well, I mean, not all this shit, but <coughs> like that beef and shit. I'm tired of sitting up here watching rappers want to beef in in their music. I'm tired of it, man. It's getting on my fucking nerves. I said, and I'm telling you, didn't we learn anything from, didn't we learn anything from Tupac and Biggie? I guess not if Nicki Minaj wanted to sit there and say, I want to shoot, this, if I had a gun, I'd shoot this fucking bitch in the face. Now, she's a mother, man. Why would you want to say shit like that? Do you want to take a mother away from her kids? Now, that's the question. Nicki Minaj ain't got no fucking kids. I'm for real, man. This bitch is stupid, man. I'm for real. What you should have did was in that little spat instead of going on. If I had a gun, I'd shoot that fucking bitch. All you could have did is say, you know what? You know what? Let's don't do this, man, because we grown-ass people because... If we keep on, something gonna happen. Nope. She want to talk all this shit, and then she want to continue. Like, look, build a bridge, get the fuck over, man. Time to move on. It's gotten to it's it's gotten to a point where Mariah Carey wants to Mariah Carey hired more bodyguards just to protect her, cause Nicki Minaj made that threat, kind of a threat. Like I can tell you this. If something happened to Mariah, everybody's going to be sitting there pointing fingers at you, Nikki. You'd be the first suspect in Mariah's threat or anything. <laughs> That's how it is, man. It's getting ridiculous, man, where all these damn artists are, are like all this shit. It's getting on my nerves. 
there you go. And then I, like, I hope this shit does not continue because I hate to sit up here and turn on the news. Oh, Mariah Carey dies because of some such and such, whatever. Nicki Minaj is behind the scenes. It is what it is because it is what it is because one thing is when you weren't like to me if I was if I was in the industry if I was in the industry I would have sat there and don't be trying to beef with nobody I don't give a fuck what the fucker say you got to beef with somebody you got to beef nah -uh. why do I got to beef with anybody just to make my CD sales, my record sales. I don't think starting a little fight with anybody should should make your CD sales or whatever, your song sales and like all I get because it's nothing but bullshit. It's bad enough that we lost Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> well, actually, Big and Tupac died because of the Illuminati, but you catch my drift, like. And people, people need y'all just need to wake up, man. All that beef and this shit, man. Don't be sucked into this. That's all it is. Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey just sucked into that bullshit where they supposed to beef out, beef in front of a camera and all this and that and and shit, man. I think it's ridiculous, man. Y'all grown ass people, grown ass people. Beefing on with the pettiest shit. Pettiest shit. Y'all got kids looking up to y'all. And for... And for y'all to be women and y'all trying to sit there and teach girls to stand on their own. Be successful. Be strong. Y'all doing a poor old job, buddy. Y'all do it. Oh, I mean, I'm trying to teach the girl to be somebody. How can you tell that girl to be somebody when you fake as a motherfucker wearing them all them damn wigs and got all that shit put up in your body? You more fake as hell. If you're going to be real, be real. You don't have to get breast implants, ass implants, wear a bunch of fucking wigs just to be somebody. Because it's fucked up, man. So Y'all probably like, why you always talking to shit about Nicki Minaj? I just said at the beginning, she's a pretty young woman. But it's just like this. It's like this, man. When you get caught up in that industry and they tell you you got to be for this person, you falling for that bullshit. You ain't helping yourself. You ain't helping your career out. All you're doing is starting a lot of beef, a lot of bullshit because you can't get your ass. You can't pull your head out your ass and you always listen to the bullshit on the side. Don't let one person get in your ear and tell you you got to do this. If you want to make music, make music. Don't let your music become your enemy. Don't sit down and let these fuckers tell you you got to talk shit about this person. You got to talk shit about that person. You should have been the main person to be saying it. Why do I got to talk shit about these people? They didn't do nothing to me. But when it comes down to shit like this in the music industry, where you got people telling you to beef with somebody, all you doing is screwing yourself over. I'm telling the world your life is shit. You got to be an adult. Don't sit there and be stupid and fall for the ignorance of what's going on in the entertainment industry. Because like I said, man, people get up in your ear and they fuck with your head. And that's all it is. You ain't no diva. You ain't no gangster. Mariah Carey's a diva. Mariah Carey's a diva. Nicki Minaj, you just Little Wayne's bitch. You just her, you just his sex puppet. He pulls the strings. You bullshit. That's all it is too. Cause. I know people gonna be mad. Oh, Africa, you something wrong for saying this shit? Is something wrong? No, I'm telling it like a T.I. motherfucking is. I ain't gonna lie to nine beat around the bush. I'm telling like a T.I. is. When you get out in the entertainment industry, you gotta take control. You don't let people control you. You gotta control them. Because when you sit there and let these people control you, that's all you're gonna be is a fucking puppet. You is nothing but a puppet. <laughs> that's all it is. 
don't be the puppet of the industry be a grown ass person and fight back and be like I ain't gonna fight with that person because y'all want me to I don't give a fuck how much money you throw at me it ain't even worth it if somebody is gonna lose their life all this bullshit over nothing over nothing over nothing over something so petty that somebody had to say if I had a gun I would shoot Shoot that fucking bitch. Fuck that shit, man. I don't give a... Look, if Mariah Carey told me to kiss my head, told, told me to kiss her head. But see, you know what? I don't give a fuck. At least I got a star to tell me to kiss her ass. That's all it is to it. I ain't gonna sit up there and say, fuck you, bitch, and your bullshit husband. I'm gonna just mind my own damn business. I don't want to be trying to get on no record. Fuck Mariah, fuck Mariah, fuck Mariah. I ain't going to get on that and say, fuck Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj. Because I ain't in the rap game. And I damn sure ain't going to be in the music business. Because my life is too important to be spatting with somebody. Over something so fucking petty. Life is life is too much. I say, it's like, yes, my freedom and my life is too damn important. And self-respect too. Because I'm not going to give up any damn thing just to be famous. I said, that's what's wrong with these people, man. They get these damn, damn industry. They lose their fucking mind because they got that money in their pocket and think they badass Billy gun. Mariah Carey's got, I know Mariah Carey's got money. But when she start making that paycheck, you think yo, you think the world's supposed to revive around your ass, which you, which you shouldn't. Which is more, now I got to ask a question. Which is more, like if I, if Nicki Minaj, if I can ask Nicki Minaj a question, which is more important? Though your in your music, your music and the beef that you got between Mariah Carey or little girls getting raped and sex trafficked all over the world. There's there's little girls getting raped every day, and you care about beefing with Mariah Carey. Seems to me that's not the best role model to ever have. Because if she cares more about her music than what's going on out in the world, there's something's wrong. They all this shit they put on is a fucking front and people buy into it. They buy into it. <coughs> but you know what, man? It is what it is, man. Ten like a T I is. Well ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe Ten Like a T I is again. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Follow me on my Tumblr. Peace, love, and Afro Grease.